Hey guys, uh, I am back from a weekend trip. As you can see, I got things drying up all around the house. Um, we went to Jones Gap State Park this weekend and took a bunch of pictures and videos. And I just wanted to share them with you all. So I hope you enjoy this clip. So here we are, got all of our gear packed and we are on our way. We've got my mom, Taylor in the front seat, Cameron beside me. Hello. Hello, mommy. Hello, Cameron. Hello. Checking clothes. So while Cameron and my mom were going and getting us checked in and set up, Taylor wanted to try on Cam's pack. It's a nice pack. Now when we first got there, the weather was fantastic. I think it was in the 50s, maybe even in the low 60s. Um, it was just beautiful. The sun was still up. We still had plenty of daylight to hike by. Uh, it's, it's a really, it's a great state park. If you've never been, definitely check it out. Well, time to get started. And we are already breaking the rules. Can you do that again? What are you gonna do? You're gonna set up where? All right there. Can you look at me while you do it? No, <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, go ahead, get that fire going. Oh. There you go. Oh, nice. Yay. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Mad skills. Now I have to give Cameron props. We didn't actually get any pictures of how much firewood he went and got for us, but he, he got enough wood there for probably several evenings. And, uh, and we only ended up burning a little bit of it that night, but it really did help as the temperature dropped and the wind kicked up, it helped keep morale up and give us something to sit and talk around. So I have to give Cam a big shout out. I, I'm sorry we didn't burn all your wood, <laughs> but thank you for getting it for us, man. So Saturday morning, we woke up to weather in the 40s, I believe. It was clear skies. The wind had died down from the night before. There was definitely a lot of water crossings, but all of the wider areas that we needed to cross had a bridge or the ones where the water was deeper had a bridge. So really, it wasn't too bad. Uh, there was a detour about 0.1 miles up to Jones Gap Falls. And if you're ever in the area and you don't have enough time for a very long hike, that is a gorgeous waterfall to sit and be around. Um, from the visitor center up to there is probably only three quarters of a mile or so. It's well worth it. Huh? I might grab a snack. So right before this trip, my mom and I met at REI and we walked through some different water filtration systems and she had just bought a Sawyer Squeeze and this is her trying it out for the first time. I think she likes it. I'll have to follow up with her. But, um, 
for the weight and for how many gallons it can handle, yeah, it really is. It's hard to beat. I think it weighs three it's ounces right or so. It's a great tool. So this little spot was a couple miles in and it was just so pretty. I wish we could have stayed there longer. Tried to get some pictures and some video and I don't even think it had a name, but um, it was just really nice to stop and get some water, hang out a little bit. Taylor and I had this game where we put a stick in the ground and we draw a line and we see who can, without moving their feet, stab it the furthest in the ground. And uh, I might have cheated a little bit, but that's my stick just barely ahead of hers. I'll just follow it. So here's another of, I could not tell you how many water crossings. Um, we might have done a hundred over the weekend. But again, anywhere where the water was flowing fast or the water was deeper, there was something there, um, a bridge, a log, something. Uh, so really it wasn't too bad to get across. Five miles, four miles, somewhere in there. And uh, right across the road and get onto another trail. And then we'll be somewhere close to halfway for the day. So right around here was when we started to get close to the bottom and we didn't realize how difficult the uphill was about to be, but we had a 1,500-ish foot in elevation gain over a couple of miles. And I don't know that I can really put that into perspective because you would basically go up several hundred feet and then go back ahead, down man. some and then back up several hundred feet and then back down some. And you never maintained your uphill. Um, so it was actually it was a pretty tough couple of miles to, to end up at a net of 1,500 yes, foot right. of elevation gain. But we did make it. Uh, it was definitely a challenge. But we all made it through. Hmm. And we made it before it got dark. We made it before the rain set in. And the views along the way, this was up from pretty much the top of the mountain. Um, well worth it. It was a beautiful, beautiful spot.
so we started out at 8.40 this morning. We have finally made it to the end of the day, and it's what time? 6. 6.49. 6.49. And we did 11, 15, 15 miles. They were long <laughs> the last few. <laughs> and how do you feel about tomorrow? Great. Yeah. I just have three miles tomorrow. Yeah. So we can totally make it. Yeah. We'll make it out. Even though it's going to be raining. A little bit. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Anything else you want to say? <laughs> Not on camera. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bye, mom. Bye. Bye. Do you feel breakfasted? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I feel breakfasted. I love to get you. So, I'm going to say this, and it's probably not news to anybody who's gone on any kind of group hikes, but who you bring along with you when you go outside is key, especially when the weather isn't on your side or the trail isn't on your side. Having those people around that have a good attitude and can handle adversity and can handle less than ideal conditions, it really does help a lot with the morale of everyone involved. So this group was awesome. We had a, uh, a pretty miserable morning, honestly, but uh, we knew we just had a couple miles to go and we just needed to suck it up and put in the work and everyone got to it. We had a couple small spills, but nothing major. And uh, it's been great. Say what up? Say what up? <laughs> yeah! Yep. Huh? Your mom fell. She fell? Yeah. How bad? Not bad. Oh. Cam, how far are we? How far are we from the end? Out there somewhere. Adventures almost come to an end. And then we get to eat. I feel like I didn't. There is, you can just barely make out the picnic tables down there. That's the visitor center and the river. Our car should be parked just out of sight there under the trees. This is it. We haven't made it. We've been dealing with uh, this, uh, generally, much worse than this, the entire time. It's been a... Uh... Oh, wow. That's cool. Thank you. Where are we at? At the end. We're there? We did it.
so there we were we made it to the end and in typical hiker fashion we were all starved and needed to go somewhere to get some food uh. wow look at the penmanship Sentence you to eat one of the greasiest, chewiest, deliciousest escargots on the side of the Mississippi. One down. Man, she looks like a real lightweight, don't she? Like she couldn't handle that. Like maybe she's a little afraid of it. She over there munching on her pride. Biding her time go, so we forget go, about it. Go, go, eat that snail. Eat that Bam, snail. She said it ain't no mm. chum. It ain't real till she swallows. It ain't real. <laughs> On the swallow. How many swallows in water? I don't know. So it's a clean tongue. <laughs> okay, yeah, there it is. It's legit. <laughs> Pretty good, baby. Before breakfast for tomorrow. Yeah. Oh okay, yeah, you got a little bit of cinnamon roll left over, don't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So obviously, once we had our bellies full and nothing but a car ride ahead of us, there was one thing to do. 